It's the end of the third day at DesignCon, and uh, two big topics, I guess, that I've been following while I've been here. Uh, one is the age-old tug-of-war between copper and optical. So we heard uh, Prith Banerjee, the head of HP Labs today, make a really impassioned plea that you know we all are going toward optical interconnects, optical backplanes, optical chip-to-chip -chip interconnects in the future. Why? Because all this data is coming and copper will never get us there. And he gave a really interesting description of a, of a 30 gigabyte per second optical backplane that HP Labs did as a demonstration project for one of its uh, network switches and talked about how that could, in, in, with the right technologies over time, uh, get goosed up to a, a terabyte per second backplane. So, so that was cool. He talked about some far out stuff about free space optics and, and, and photonic computing, uh, which is you know, way out there on the distant horizon. Uh, it, it was a great talk, very well received. Interesting, later on you go down to the show floor and some of the experts are speaking in the theater down on the show floor and they're talking about, oh yeah, I've been through so many studies of you know, what's the thing that's going to bridge us from copper to optical and, and I've tried this and that and the other thing and it just none of them sort of met the cost uh, dynamics that we need and this PCB board industry is just you know, such a big a well-funded and, and well-organized ecosystem that you know, copper is just going to live for years and years. So it's an old debate, optical versus copper. It's still going on, still very lively today at, at DesignCon. Uh, the other thing that I've been following while I was here was uh, the move to 3D stacking, putting chips on top of chips, drilling holes through them to have a faster interconnects, uh, especially uh, faster links between memory and processors, which is the big bottleneck these days. So it was a great session last night of some experts who were trying to make some of the standards come together for this. And, and you can see that they got their own whole set of hurdles here. This is in a, in a different way, just in the semiconductor world, uh, a whole other shift in the, in the design flow and the design architecture, what people are trying to do, has huge potential. And there really seems to be gathering momentum that this thing is going to happen. A uh, gentleman from Qualcomm who's uh, taken on the role of uh, pushing some of these 3D standards at the Silicon Integration Initiative is saying we've really got to get these done within the next year uh, because chips are going to start to roll and we want these to be based upon standards and not upon um, on some individual company's uh, efforts. So uh, there's real forward momentum there and that's uh, kind of a little bit off the show floor and a little bit out of the mainstream, but you can see it's like a drumbeat in the distance coming that uh, come 2013 or so, we're gonna be talking about that in a much bigger way here, I think.